What I'm, I'm going to attempt to do tonight is um, make one of these refrigerator pin magnet holders, like so. And speaking of the raffle, I did put, <coughs> excuse me, I did put a, a, a starter kit of the wood and the pen and the magnet uh, to be raffled off as well. So that would include a block, these two blocks, a pen and a magnet. And to start off, if you could kind of look at the back of <coughs> this paper, I've got six pictures that are numbered. So what I have already done, which I couldn't do here very easily, is to, on the holder, I have drilled a three-quarter inch hole in the end of the block that will become the holder. That's where the magnet will go, and a hole through the block. And two other drilled holes, one on either end, so that I can mount it on my screw chuck that I did as a homemade model. And down in number three, um, at the bottom, what I started with is I got this lined up for the drill press and did a starter hole, which goes in about an inch and a half or so. And I tried very hard to get this lined up so that it would go in straight. So if you look real carefully there, I've got a 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle that I've kind of used to line this thing up. It's, it's plastic, so it's kind of hard to see it in the picture, but it's there. Yep. And so that's what I've done to get it started. And what I'm gonna do first is about half of the pen. I'm going to do the pen end that needs to go through the holder, which would be this end here. And then we'll have to drill all the way through using this eighth inch drill to go out through here. That's why it's kind of important that that goes in straight. If it doesn't, then when you turn this end up in here, that's when things are going to happen. And I've made about seven of these now. And this one I did with a combination and glued pieces together. And when I drilled it, I think it didn't like going through the center where the glue was. It kind of went out through right over here. So as I get down to the end, ah. But I mixed up some sawdust and dust and pasted it in there, and sawdust and glue or other, and uh, fixed it in. It looks fairly good. If I hadn't told you, you might not find it right away. Divine opportunity. <laughs> so let's uh, get going here. What I'm going to do first between centers is to make this a bit of a cylinder and cut a tenon on this end and I'm going to take this out and put it in this chuck. And I like these jaws here because I get a good grip on it and it seems to run pretty smooth and true. Do they call those spigot jaws? I don't know. Yes, I'm they do. They do. Uh, Sorry. Okay. So, Yep. Uh, let's just bring it over here, I guess.
put a padding tool, whatever, put a tenon on this end.
kicking the wood out of that. That's a good point to make people aware of. The, that metal drill will clog up and it yeah, cause this, all kinds of trouble. This stops cutting very well. <laughs> yeah, even that little bit, it's all.
know I have a good day yet. But I can get a little bit of a feel of how much I need to do. I'd already set this inside of this hole so that I could get an idea of how far I had to go down. So we gotta get down farther. I'm not gonna stick this on there while it's running because these are pointed and things will go flying. So we'll start and stop it several times probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's maple wood you're using? Yes. a little smaller now so I've got to point this down on the end and get this down pretty close to the diameter of this part of the pen. And if I cut it down too small I can always sand it back a little bit to make it fit right. <clears throat> the opposite doesn't work quite so well after you get so I'm going to step in there now.
Now we gotta check to make sure this is gonna fit. Oh, no. It's a little tight up in here. I want to take a little more off there. I think I'll just do that sanding. Do you like the Abernath? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I saw something in the magazine. And it was a single. The last one? Mm -hmm. It seemed to last pretty good. I've, I've used it quite a bit. And you can wash them out, oh. clean them up. This part is all five of them. Right. And get them around corners easy. Yeah. Using a, an 80 here to take this down a little bit farther than the run up through the grits. 120. Okay. 
You can turn that light back on when you need it. Trick light. Oh, it's a percent out of time. You told me to turn. I think I turned these to the trick light. Again, I had drilled a starter hole in both ends, and this end I used a little smaller drill than this end because it's not much wood when I turn it around, and I wanted it to bite on hard. sides of the hole so I need to take a little more off them. 
the left side over here. recently to do a, what they call a, the basket illusion, yeah. something like that. And uh, this thing works really good. This this one, I'll have to be kind of gentle with it because I don't want it to tear out the, the bead that I'm going to put in it. So hopefully it won't.
fill this back into the room. There's already a hole drilled in the other end, so we will see if we can feed this back on. <coughs>
Swanson's trying to be grounded to be able to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the elf tool, a little spinner on the end of this, a little ball spinner, and it will drill that in. Back this off and lower the tool where I stand, so. And just hold pressure on it. and set the magnet in there. I, I, oh, I fell off then. No, I hit it in there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this fell off though. My favorite tray for mixing up glue, or putting glue in it, or epoxy in this case. Here's a little five minute epoxy. I think the auto parts store has it too. They probably do, yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. It would have been all your fault, too. Mine? Sure. Blame it on somebody. Put a little bit in the bottom. I didn't tell you that was part of the job, right, Adam? Yeah. What the blame? And Except all blame. Hey, so he gets paid. I yeah. All I gotta do is find the bacon. Working on with all my how long did the epoxy go? <laughs> it was a long time. Ten seconds. <laughs> I thought he said five minutes. Yeah, it's five minutes. Jeopardy theme song. Yeah. And the hole that's drilled is just a little bit bigger than the magnet itself, mm -hmm. so that allows it to squish up around it a little bit. So we're done with that. We set this aside and finish the pin. 
just gonna clean some of this away up here.